I'm so glad you're here. Why don't we just get started by you can tell me a little bit about yourself. Awesome. My name is Sarah Lamb. Mm -hmm. I attended Cambridge High School. I volunteer at my local church since I was probably around seven until now with some special needs kids. Uh, I have two older brothers. My oldest brother is a firefighter and so is my dad. And my other brother is a paramedic. Wow. And my mom has worked in ministry for my entire life. So I'm just bound to help people. I've always grown up with a heart for helping. I took American Sign Language when I was in high school mm -hmm. to be able to communicate with some of the kids that I was volunteering with every Sunday. And it really helped and it made them feel more involved, which made me super happy. Yeah. I was the captain of my cheerleading team my sophomore year of high school. And I really learned a lot of leadership through that. And I just found that I loved working as a team. I had been cheering since I was in third grade, but I got the opportunity to be captain my sophomore year. And just working as a team is one of my favorite things to do. I really also love to travel. It's amazing. I have gotten the opportunity to go to many places. Mm -hmm. I went to Denver, Colorado on a mission trip with my church, and we did a lot of physical labor there. We painted a house. And we fixed up some yards, we packed some to-go lunches for some homeless people. And yeah, so I just love helping people. So that's awesome. Um, can you just tell me what you think makes you the best candidate for this position? Yeah, so um, I think that I would be the best candidate for this position because I am really great at communication. Mm -hmm. And communication is key in all things, not only nursing, just in life in general. Mm -hmm. Good communication is one of the most important things, and I am really good at that. I'm also a very task-oriented person. So having a list of to-dos or just tasks in general is really something that I like thrive in. And I know that in nursing, I will have a task of orders that I need to do and accomplish. And just checking those off is always just so relieving. Mm -hmm. I also love working as a team. I said that earlier. I have lots and lots of experience working with teams of people, as I did cheer since I was in third grade. And I've also volunteered with multiple people. I have played just extracurricular activities with people that all involves teams, and I just really love being involved in teams. Okay. I also am not a procrastinator at all, mm -hmm. and in nursing, or any job really, you just, you know, procrastination is something that really bites people, but I just, I'm good at getting things done, and getting things done effectively. So what is your greatest strength, Sarah? Wow, okay, so I think that some of my greatest strengths would be that I work well with the team. I've said this before, but I really do think that that's one of my best skills is just working with the team and working effectively. I also am good at communicating. I've said that as well, but I think that communication is very, very important and being able to communicate is important. I also am really great at adapting to situations. So if, for example, something is happening, high stress, something is happening, and people are going all over the place, I am good at controlling that, that crowd, and also changing what I'm doing to adapt to other people. I've also had a lot of experience with different types of personalities and egos, and I've had a lot of that experience from my personal life, like working with special needs kids. I've seen all, some of them just lash out, and I've had to adapt to change my persona to help them feel comfortable. I've also had a lot of experience with mental illness because a lot of my friends are mentally ill, and 
just being able to lower my tone or change my tone of voice and adapting my persona, how I'm sitting, just to make them feel more comfortable. All right, so this is a little bit harder to question, but what is your what are your greatest weaknesses? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think that some of my greatest weaknesses are that I pay a lot of attention on details. Mm -hmm. I tend to be quite the perfectionist. So just, you know, learning not to pay attention to too many of the fine details, but getting the word across in an effective manner. I also tend to overload myself. For example, I try to take on other people's work to make them feel better and to make them less stressed out, but in the long run, that's just making me more stressed out. So just remembering that I also can't be stressed out and I need to just prioritize that as well. I also tend to want to help too much almost. So just like I said, taking on a lot of tasks um, and just like putting myself out there too much almost. I also tend to beat myself up when I do something wrong. I think that a lot of people do that, but I suffer a lot from that. So just trying to remember that I'm human and that all of us make mistakes and that as long as it's not too big of a mistake, it'll be okay and it'll all be good. Yeah. Okay, well, um, one more question. Actually, I've got two more questions for you. Okay. Right now, I'm going to ask you how you would deal with someone who is not satisfied with their patient care. Mm -hmm. So, the first step that I would take if somebody was not satisfied with the care that I was giving them would be, I would self-evaluate what I was doing. So I would bring down my tone. Maybe if I'm not being aggressive, but just using a stern voice, maybe I would just take that back and just reevaluate that. I would also ask them what their expectations of care would be and how they think that it should go and just prove that, or like show to them that I'm listening and I'm like taking it in. Mm -hmm. I would also explain to them the plan of care that I was doing. So I would tell them why I did what I did. And I would also just try to explain to them that there are a lot of people working around me and that we all have tasks that we need to do. Mm -hmm. If but still wasn't um, making them comfortable, then I would tell them that I'm happy to talk to their family and talk to them just about the care that I'm giving them and just explaining what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And I would maybe recommend or ask them if they would like to have a second opinion mm -hmm. to come see, you know, what it was that they weren't very happy with. Mm -hmm. And I would just try to all together just try to make them comfortable and just feel heard mm -hmm. because I understand that when you are in a sense of stress and you're really overwhelmed that it's easy to take control so just you know taking a step back and just understanding that and just trying to listen to what they have to say All right, and the last question is, how would you handle or how will you handle the stress of this job? Hmm. This, one, this one's important. I think that I would handle the stress of the job by not taking anything personally and maintaining those clinical boundaries in the medical field. I, For example, if I had a patient that was like really stressed out and they were like screaming, kicking, maybe like yelling at me, telling me I'm bad. I would change my tone, my persona, like I said earlier. Mm -hmm. And then I would maybe take a step back if that was not enough for them. Maybe take a step back and just reorganizing myself and just getting myself together and acting like I'm not stressed so that it's not being put onto them. Mm -hmm. I also think that 
just outside of the hospital, not taking stuff that happens there home. Mm -hmm. So just leaving what happens at the hospital, at the hospital, and then at home, just prioritizing relationships with my family and loved ones. Mm -hmm. I think that that's super important, and it's a stress reliever for me. I really love my family, and we all get along really well, so just prioritizing those relationships and not bringing that onto them as well. I also think that it's really important to stay physically and mentally healthy. So one thing that I just really enjoy is traveling and just being outdoors. So just staying active like outside and maybe like going on a hike with my friends or my family or simply just taking my dogs to the dog park. Mm -hmm. I find joy in all of those and they all are just stress relievers for me. And another thing would be going to church and just staying with my routine and not changing that because when I go to church, I get this sense of relief and just a stress reliever. I just love the community there and I always just feel so free when I go there. So just making sure not to, again, bring the hospital onto the church. Mm -hmm.